Evening, I'm Ryan Yamamoto. And I'm Elizabeth Cook. We begin with new developments in a fiery debate we've been following here in San Francisco. Whether police robots should be equipped to administer lethal force. Supervisors were set to take a final vote today on whether to allow SFPD that option as a last resort. And a short time ago, they did make a decision, but as KPX 5's Lauren Toms tells us, it's not going to end that debate just yet. Yeah, guys, it was a bit of a confusing hearing today. Even some of the supervisors required clarification on the series of back and forth votes over whether to allow the lethal option. But a reminder, the SFPD has had these robots at their disposal for 11 years now. This is a new debate because of a law that was passed earlier this year that states police departments must get approval from their governing bodies, in this case, the Board of Supervisors, to use military grade equipment, even beyond the robots that the SFPD has. They also have military style vehicles like a Humvee, as well as pepper spray and flashbang grenades that fell under this category. Now to what the Board of Supervisors did and didn't decide. The panel temporarily reversed its decision from last week and voted 8-3 to three to allow the police to use the robots just without the lethal option for now. So what happens now? The language covering the lethal option heads back to the Rules Committee, which will decide on language that would permanently address this issue. Then the full board would vote again before taking it to the mayor uh, for her signature. Essentially, guys, stay tuned. So why do I have this feeling it's just going to be stuck in like committees mm -hmm. and discussions and they're just going to keep talking about it? Yeah, highly likely San Francisco is really the first city in California that's addressing this issue. So it'll be interesting to see how other California cities handle this as well. All right. Thanks, Lauren.